rematch of week 15 Tebow versus Brady uh, Broncos versus Patriots uh, last time these two teams met they let it they met in Denver Mile High Stadium and now it's in a divisional playoff matchup uh, we're gonna be in Gillette and Foxborough uh, keys for the Broncos in this game is, are, are going to be staying on schedule with the play calling uh, basically getting being a third in manageable situations even though this is not a great uh, Patriots defense uh, it's really one of the uh, really really one of the worst defenses in the league but you just still with Tim Tebow you want to stay on schedule with, with with um with your play calling winning first to second down is always going to be key being third in and less than five third and five situations in between that area so he could be able to convert on short short pass to third down you can even run the ball on third down so staying on schedule is going to be key. Um, Tim Tebow did a great job uh, last week on, on, on making some um, some really good throws. So uh, maybe that maybe that gave him a little bit more confidence, where maybe he can be more comfortable in a third and long situation. But I still think just for a key for this team to want to go on to the next round and winning this game, it's going to be staying on schedule with the play calling offensively. Um, another key for this team is going to be getting the uh, pressure to Tom Brady early and often. Um, as you can see, the way you beat Tom Brady, the way you beat the Patriots offense, you got to get Tom Brady off your spot. Um, you got two guys who are really great pass rushers in Elmas Dermaville and uh, Von Miller. So as you saw, they they towards the end of that the Steelers game last week, they started to cause havoc and, and started to collapse the pocket on um, Ben Roethlisberger, knocking the ball away. It was, um, I think it, it, the last drive knocked the ball away from Ben Roethlisberger, causing a fumble. That that so that's going to be key for them. them. Just those two guys getting pressure. Maybe Broderick Brunkley and, and Marcus Thomas in the middle also, and also Robert Ayers, guys who are going to be able to be able to create to create pressure on Tom Brady and getting him off his spot. So that's going to be another another huge key for them. And the third and final one is going to be um, taking the middle away from the field. Uh, Tom Brady loves the middle of the field. You got Wes Welker, you got Gronkowski, you got uh, Aaron Hernandez, uh, uh, Julian Edelman. And Danny Woodhead, just though he loves to work the middle of the field in between the linebackers and safeties. So I think that they, they're going to have to find a way to force force Tom Brady to throw outside the hashes uh, or outside the numbers. In between um, in between the numbers and the sideline, that's where they're going to have to force Tom Brady to make plays at. Um, and this Patriots offense, like I said, they love to use, work that middle of the field, especially with those two great tight ends that they have. And Wes Walker, probably the best, one of the best, if the best slot receiver in the game, inside receiver in the game. So he's going to, so the Broncos, safeties, and linebackers are really going to have to do a good job of, of, of taking the middle of the field away for um, for the Patriots offense. But players to watch out for in this game for the Patriots are going to be Tim Tebow. Uh, he's going to have to play a, a really good, solid game like he did. He had a really good game last time they played him. Even though it was in a blowout fashion, he had a really good solid game. So he's going to have to be a key. I think Eddie Royal is going to have to be a key, making some big plays um, in the special teams area, punt return uh, to be exact. He's going to have to make some plays. Uh, Champ Bailey, uh, he's going to help. He's going to have to be a, a, a guy to make plays as well. And, and DJ Williams, a linebacker, is going to is going to also be another key player to watch out for. The keys for the Patriots in this game is going to be. Uh, Put forcing Denver to get in a shootout, so or, sco scoring early and often, basically. So I'm saying, uh, first two possessions, be up ten nothing, be up thir be up thirteen, fourteen nothing on them. Make Denver have to throw the ball every play. Get them out of their element on their, uh, get them out of their offensive game plan by having them to keep up with you, playing keep up, getting in a shootout with this team, um, being able to, you know, put up those high uh, high numbers that this Patriots offense really likes to uh, really likes to put on people and put the pressure on Tim Tebow's left shoulder and, and making him throw the football. So scoring early and often and, and, and making this a large lead in the beginning of the game is definitely going to be a key for, for the Patriots. Um, containing the yak yards to a minimal, yards after catch, yards after contact, keeping that to a minimal. The Patriots did, I mean, the Steelers last week did a horrible job with that. Uh, just they let they let the... Uh, they let the the Broncos wide receivers just catch the ball and, and take off downfield and getting 15, 20 yards, yak yardage, uh, a pop every play. So that, that's going to be a one key, big key for the Patriots, containing those yak yardages, keeping them to a minimal for this team, uh, just make it, making plays in space, tackling in space, basically. And the third and final key for this team is going to be containing Tim Tebow with his legs. Um, don't make him extend the play because that's when he's dangerous. So... Um, Try to keep Tebow in the pocket, contain him. Don't make him get, to, don't get him, let him get outside the pocket or use his legs, and, and you should be fine there. Players to watch out for in this game is going to be tight end Aaron Hernandez, 
Um, wide receiver Ocho, Chad Ocho Cinco. I think Ocho Cinco is going to have to step up, especially on the outside. He's a guy that can stretch the field um, offensively with the outside playmakers, a wide receiver. Another wide receiver that they have is Deion Branch, but he's not really a speed guy. He's more a possession guy. Uh, Ocho is going to be, uh, have is gonna have to come out this playoffs and take the top off the defense, so he's going to have to be that guy. Uh, two other players that are going to be killing the defensive side of the ball is going to be Vince Wilford, the defensive tackle, who I think is going to be able to cause havoc in the middle, uh, pushing the pocket up front for Tebow, stopping that run game, and Sean Ellis as well, the defensive lineman, defensive end for them. He should be able to help out in, in the run game and getting pressure on Tim Tebow. But... The matchup to watch out for in this game is going to be the Patriots tight ends against the Broncos, uh, the Broncos linebackers and safeties. Like I said, they like to use Gronkowski, Gronkowski when they get in the end zone uh, in a red area. Red zone basically a lot of the times a big solid guy, big body. He's, he's starting to become one of Tom Brady's favorite receivers, if not his, his number one A option. And Aaron Hernandez, he's the guy they like to put him all over the place. They like to split him out wide. They like to use him as an H-back. Uh, motion him into the backfield, motion him out of the backfield, have him play slot, have him play flex, flex tight end. So that's gonna be that's gonna be the matchup to really watch out for. And how do those linebackers, DJ Williams, um, Mario Higgins, Vaughn Miller, and those safeties, those young guys that they got back there, and um and, and Quentin Carter, and all and, and Raheem Moore and all those other guys, how are they gonna help out? So that's gonna be a key for that as well. The one big key in this game is gonna be third down conversions. Which offense or which defense can can keep the third downs going or or have them punt? Especially when it comes to Tom Brady, you want to get Tom Brady off the field, and and Tebow converting third downs is going to be a huge thing. And, and for the Patriots, you want to keep your offense on the field to get that defense tired. So third down conversion is going to be key in this game. Uh, with all that being said, I'm picking the Patriots in this game. I just think too much Tom Brady. Uh, the Patriots rarely lose at home in a playoff game, other than last year. They, they've they've lost the last couple of years, but I rarely see them losing this game. They don't really lose a lot of home games. So. Uh, I'm picking the Patriots in this game, 35-20. I think Tom Brady's going to have a great game. Uh, I think maybe Chad Ochocinco breaks out, but I think the defense is going to be able to contain because of Tim Tebow, and Tim Tebow makes a, a couple of mistakes and turns the football over. So uh, I got the Patriots 35-20. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.